Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is September 13th, 2022, Tuesday afternoon at mm, almost 1 p.m. Yes, yeah, see, I have my hair. I'm getting ready to do some painting. Actually, I'm coming from you from the art studio slash craft room. So I thought it would give you guys a quick little preview of what, how this is shaping up. Mind you, it's not near done, but I wanted to come in here and get some painting done. Um, so I want to show you guys, let me down. So this is, you know, I have some paintings that I'm working on, of course. And, you know, this is. Uh, so, of course, I have art supplies, everything underneath here. This whole card is full of different art supplies and paint. Um, it's just an extra shelving and lamp we don't know what to do with. An extra canvas is there. Bins. There's a painting I do have for sale. If you're interested, contact me. It is a large one. My sewing machine, that'll be where I sew. With my polyfill, that'll be brass section. You're gonna move another table in right there. Uh, come, sorry, come back over this way. It's just miscellaneous stuff, but it's coming together. Back around. It is coming together, so I'm very happy with that. Um, the house is really starting to shape up. Uh, we we worked really hard yesterday on, uh, see you guys are moving, on um, getting a lot of stuff done yesterday. Um, I did dishes a couple times and um, I dusted and vacuumed my room, cleaned my bathroom. Something else I did. Oh, I had to do my medicines. Um, can't remember what else. Oh, folded a ton of laundry and put away my laundry. Um, so I'm trying to get you guys set here. Halfway decent. That'll work. Um, so I wouldn't have to do that today. So today, oh, I did ride the bike too. So today I'm going to be painting. And then one little side project I wanted to do was um, go in the laundry room and give it a really, really good vacuum with the shop back to get all the lint you know you get a build up even in your in your lint catcher and stuff uh so i want to give that all a really good vacuum i want to go through my cleaning supplies make a list of what i have um and uh you know like i like to make sure i have new dish sponges on hand and you know all that kind of stuff you have a tendency if you have a laundry room, you guys know this, you're doing laundry that sometimes stuff will kind of get shoved away or in corners and you're like, oh, this was all the worst class or the socks are or whatever. So I want to go in there and organize that better and give it, get it a good old clean. Um, what else? What else am I going to do today? I'm not sure. But I've been on the phone all morning with Medicare. He got that all sorted out. So he had Medicare A, B, C, and D. So he should be covered. So C is for dental and eyeglass. And then D is for prescription. So some of it it won't cover. It's going to actually cost us a little more prescription-wise. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? He has no option. He even asked him. So, I can't just keep my other insurance and not do this. Nope, you have to do the Medicare. So, it is what it is. It'll be the first time we haven't had the same health care insurance. But, um, so, yeah, he's been dealing with that all morning. He's trying to stay awake. Um, so, like I said, I'm coming in here kind of doing my thing. Um, I have three paintings that, up that I want to finish. I'm not sure. There's one that I kind of feel like may be kind of finished. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, because I want to sell some work. I would like to sell some of my paintings. Um, 
because we're trying to, you know, start a savings fund for moving back to Florida. And we're not going to do a GoFundMe or anything for that. I know people that have because maybe they want have a down payment for a house or, you know, moving. And it, moving, unless it's an emergency, no. And uh, we'll figure out a way to get to make that happen. Um, you know, I believe in positive thoughts and you can kind of manifest what you really want in life. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, my hair is just so, <laughs> um, didn't really color it in a couple of days. So I have some deep like conditioner on it and, uh, you know, just throwing it back. I'll color it Thursday. Brad has a doctor's appointment Friday just for a general checkup. So, and that's usually when we go out of the house anyway. So, we'll be doing that. Waiting for him to get his disability in so we can pay bills. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Arm feels okay. It's just not, well, it really... You know, it. I didn't get near the, the relief that I got on that first shot. I think it's because of where he put it. But I'll just live with it and keep doing my exercises, you know. Like everybody else with arthritis does. It's just part of life. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. You know, I want to start working on some dog beds, making those. I haven't forgotten about the boho hats, and I haven't forgotten about the resin type cast, not resin casting, but the kind of plaster casting that Brad and I are going to do with our hands. I haven't forgotten about that. It's just, um, you're running, running, running. We've been still working on getting this house together, so it's coming along. Uh, I think that's about all I really have for you guys. I know it's not much, but, you know. Some days there's just not much to really tell you guys. You know, it's just not much to tell you guys. You know, if you guys know of anybody who is is into art, into collecting artwork, let me know. Maybe put a good word in for me, because like I said, I'm trying to get myself reestablished as an artist and get get my work out there and stuff. And uh I want to sell some of these paintings because that's how has, that's I consider my job and how I will make money. I can make money doing other stuff, but my heart and soul is at is at the painting. So um, I think that's it, guys. Oh, I have this. I don't know what to do with this. These are you know how you have the brass. You know, you had the, like, the bejeweled stuff, and this is kind of like it. It's like, you know, these brass, um, you know, things here, and then you use a stem, and you have a tool, and it, it you can, you can attach it to clothing and stuff. I'm never going to use this. I don't know really what to do. This side has got, <clears throat> I got to be careful opening this one. I can just show you guys. See? So, I'm not sure. I may end up just selling it or giving it away. You know? If, if anybody can use this kind of stuff, let me know. Or maybe we can trade out. Maybe we can trade um, craft supplies or something. Maybe you have something I'd like to have. You know? Or, you know, just contact me. We'll work something out. So, okay, I'm going to get off here and get going on some stuff. And uh, remember, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. I hope you're having a great day. It's beautiful out right now here. So, um, until I see you guys tomorrow, remember, I do love you guys, and I cherish your friendship so very much. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please like my videos. It really does help. Um, maybe kind of share my video so I can get some more subscribers. Um, because the more participation I get with you guys, the more, the more I am eager to continue on this journey and, and keep putting out, I'll put out better videos and stuff. Um, 
you know, I'll learn how to edit and I'll, I'll start putting out some more videos. But I think some of you guys just kind of like this where you're getting the raw, you know, everyday thing. But, um, yeah, like and subscribe, share with your friends. Um, and, uh, remember that, uh, remember, do something nice for somebody else. And then do something nice for yourself. And I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.